Elon Musk just posted an image that broke the internet. A massive facility in Memphis with macro hard painted across the roof in letters so big you can literally see them from space. And here's the thing, this isn't a joke. This isn't even operational yet. But when it launches, it could change everything you thought you knew about how companies work. While you're watching ChatGPT write emails, Musk is building something impossible. A company that builds itself. No human developers. Just AI creating software and running an entire corporation. And the craziest part? He's trolling Microsoft with the name while they're actually helping him do it. Welcome back to bitbias.ai where we do the research so you don't have to. So in this video, I'm breaking down exactly what this macro hard facility really is. Why Musk shared that image now, even though the project hasn't launched? How this AI-only company plans to rival Microsoft without hiring a single developer? And why tech giants should be absolutely terrified of what's being built inside that Memphis warehouse right now? Because trust me, after weeks of digging through corporate filings, analyzing that facility image, and connecting the dots, this is bigger than anyone realizes. First up, let's talk about why only someone with Musk's track record could even attempt something this audacious. Musk's track record. The pattern. You haven't noticed. Here's the thing about Elon Musk that most people miss. He doesn't just disrupt industries. He completely rewrites the rules of how they operate. Think about it for a second. Tesla didn't just make electric cars. They made cars that update themselves overnight, like smartphones. SpaceX didn't just launch rockets. They made rockets that land themselves and fly again. Neuralink isn't just studying the brain. They're literally installing USB ports in people's skulls. But wait until you see this pattern. Every single one of these companies started with everyone saying it was impossible. The auto industry said electric cars couldn't work at scale. NASA said reusable rockets were economically unfeasible. Neuroscientists said brain-computer interfaces were decades away. And here's where it gets interesting. Musk co-founded OpenAI back in 2015, literally helped birth the AI revolution we're living through right now, then left because he thought they weren't moving fast enough. So when this same guy announces he's creating an AI company that will simulate Microsoft without hiring human developers, well, suddenly the impossible starts looking inevitable. And that brings us to his latest moonshot. Introducing MacroHard, the joke that's dead serious, picture this. It's August 2025, and Musk drops a bombshell on X that made tech executives literally spit out their coffee. He shares an aerial image of a massive facility with MacroHard painted across the roof. And yes, that's the actual name. The man who named a car model S3XY just called his new company MacroHard as a direct shot at Microsoft. But here's what everyone missed while they were laughing at the name and sharing that photo. MacroHard hasn't launched yet. It's still being built. But Musk described it as a purely AI software company. And when he says purely, he means it. This isn't a company that uses AI. This is a company that is AI. He literally wrote, and I'm paraphrasing here, it's a tongue-in-cheek name, but the project is very real. The vision? MacroHard will be a full-stack AI-driven software platform that rivals tech giants, but, and this is the kicker, without owning factories, without hiring thousands of engineers, without any of the traditional infrastructure you'd expect. Think about that for a moment. Microsoft employs over 220,000 people. Musk is essentially saying, watch me build the same thing with zero. And he's so confident about it that he shared that facility image before anything has even launched. How? Well, that's where things get absolutely wild. The strategy, when Apple and Microsoft have a baby raised by robots. Okay. So here's where Musk's strategy gets genuinely brilliant. And I mean that in the most terrifying way possible. He's not copying Apple or Microsoft. He's merging their best business models and then removing the human element entirely. Let me break this down because it's actually genius. You know how Apple designs the iPhone but doesn't manufacture it? They tell Foxconn exactly what to build, 
down to the millimeter, but they never touch a factory floor. Musk is taking that model and applying it to software. MacroHard will design everything, operating systems, applications, even games, but other companies will handle all the physical stuff. But here's where it gets even crazier. Remember how Microsoft licensed Windows to basically every computer manufacturer in the world? Dell, HP, Lenovo, they all paid Microsoft to use Windows. Musk's plan? Do the exact same thing, but the software writing itself will be doing the licensing deals. He actually wrote, Our goal is to create a company that can do anything short of manufacturing physical objects directly, much like Apple has other companies manufacture their phones. So imagine this. AI agents designing software. Other AI agents negotiating licensing deals. And somewhere, human manufacturers just following instructions from robots. It's like if Skynet decided to go into business instead of starting a war. And the really unsettling part, it might actually work. AI agents, the employees who never sleep, never eat, never quit now, this is where things shift from interesting idea to, okay, this is actually happening. At the heart of MacroHard are what Musk calls AI agents. But don't think of these as chatbots. These are specialized artificial intelligences that can write production-grade code, debug software, manage projects, even make creative decisions. Reports from Inside XAI, that's Musk's AI company that owns MacroHard, reveal they're training these agents specifically to generate actual, shippable software, not demos, not prototypes. Real applications that real people will use. Musk even went on record saying that by next year, he expects to see a great AI-generated game on MacroHard's platform. Not a game designed by humans and coded by AI. A game conceived, designed, developed, tested, and shipped entirely by artificial intelligence. But wait, it gets better. Or worse, depending on your job security. These AI agents won't just write code, they'll improve themselves. Imagine a software developer that gets better at coding every single second, never forgets anything it's learned, and can work on a million projects simultaneously. That's not science fiction anymore. That's MacroHard's business model. And if you're thinking, okay, but AI can't really replace human creativity and problem solving, well, remember when we said that about chess? About art? About writing? Yeah, exactly. Colossus 2 the brain's so big you can see it from space. All right, now we're getting to the part that sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but I have the photos to prove it. To power this whole AI-run company, Musk is building something absolutely insane in Memphis, Tennessee. It's called Colossus 2, and calling it a data center is like calling the Pacific Ocean a swimming pool. This facility is 1 million square feet. For context, that's about 17 football fields. But here's the detail that made my jaw drop. Musk literally had MacroHard painted in giant white letters across the entire roof. The letters are so massive you can see them from space. And he shared these aerial photos himself on X, giving us a glimpse of this pre-launch facility that's still under construction. This isn't just Musk being Musk with the giant logo. This is a statement. He's essentially saying, this building is MacroHard. This physical structure is the body of an AI company. Inside this behemoth, they're installing hundreds of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs. The goal? Reach a full gigawatt of computing power. For reference, that's enough electricity to power about 750,000 homes, all dedicated to training and running MacroHard's AI models. Think about what that means. While you're sleeping, this facility is humming with enough computational power to simulate millions of human thoughts per second. It's not just processing data, it's literally thinking up new software, new products, new ways to compete with every tech company on Earth. The timeline, how they built a gigawatt monster in four months. Here's something that should probably worry Musk's competitors more than anything else. The speed at which this is happening. Groundbreaking on Colossus 2 started in early 2025. By late July, that's just a few months, Phase 1 was already online with 130,000 GPUs running. Let me put that in perspective. 
When Google builds a data center, it typically takes 18 to 24 months. Amazon, about the same. Musk's team, four months to go from empty field to operational AI supercomputer. By mid-August, they had deployed 550,000 GPUs. They installed 200 megawatts of cooling capacity, that's industrial-scale air conditioning, that could cool a small city. The ultimate goal? 1 million GPUs. To handle the insane power requirements, Musk didn't wait for the power company to upgrade the grid. He literally bought a nearby power plant. Just bought it. Like you'd buy a coffee maker for your office. Except this coffee maker powers an artificial intelligence that's trying to eat Microsoft's lunch. Now, I have to mention, neighbors around the facility are raising serious concerns. Environmental groups are talking about the impact on local resources, the noise from the cooling systems that run 24-7, the strain on the power grid. But Musk's response? Full speed ahead. Because here's the thing about racing to build artificial general intelligence. Second place might as well be last place. Why? This hardware matters. The real reason behind the computing power. Okay, so you might be wondering, why does an AI software company need this much hardware? Isn't software supposed to be, you know, soft? Here's where understanding the scale changes everything. The existing Colossus cluster, that's version 1, is already training Grok, which is XAI's language model, that Microsoft, ironically, is now using through Azure. But Colossus 2 isn't just about making Grok better. It's about giving MacroHard's AI agents the computational power to literally think themselves into existence. Every time these AI agents write a line of code, they're not just following instructions, they're learning. Every bug they fix makes them better at preventing bugs. Every application they create teaches them more about what users want. It's exponential improvement, and it requires exponential computing power. Musk has said that eventually, every single business task could be automated by these agents. Project management, customer service, accounting, legal review, strategic planning, Imagine all of that happening inside this one building in Memphis, with no coffee breaks, no meetings, no office drama. Just pure, focused, relentless productivity. The Memphis supercomputer isn't just running macro hard. In a very real sense, it is macro hard. The building with the giant logo on the roof? That's not the headquarters. That's the employee. All 1 million GPUs of it. The bigger picture why macro hard fits Musk's master plan. Step back for a second and look at what Musk is really building here. This isn't random. There's a pattern that's almost beautiful in its ambition. Tesla revolutionized transportation on Earth. SpaceX is doing the same for space. Neuralink is trying to merge human and artificial intelligence. And now macro hard is attempting to prove that AI can run entire corporations. Remember, Musk's involvement with AI isn't new. He co-founded OpenAI in 2015 because he was worried about AI safety. He left because he thought they weren't moving fast enough and were becoming too closed source. So he created XAI to build AI the right way, whatever that means to him. And MacroHard? This is XAI's proof of concept. It's Musk saying, look, AI isn't just a tool. It's a replacement for entire corporate structures. But here's the twist nobody's talking about. Microsoft, yes, the actual Microsoft that MacroHard is trolling with its name, is quietly partnering with XAI on Grok. They're literally providing computing resources through Azure to train the AI that might replace them. It's like if Blockbuster had helped Netflix build its streaming service. The irony is so thick, you could cut it with a keyboard. What happens next? The roadmap nobody expected. So where does this go from here? Right now, macro hard is like watching a baby AI learning to walk. If that baby was the size of a building and powered by a gigawatt of electricity. The project hasn't officially launched yet. What we're seeing through Musk's shared images and tweets is the construction phase. The public information is limited to these glimpses Musk gives us on X and some corporate filings, but the breadcrumbs paint a fascinating picture of what's coming. The first concrete goal? 
By the end of 2026, Musk wants to release what he calls a great AI-generated game. Not just any game, a great one. Think about what that means. If AI can create entertainment that humans actually enjoy, what can it create? But games are just the beginning. Based on the hiring patterns and technical infrastructure, MacroHard could release AI development tools that let other companies build AI-first applications. They could launch consumer products that adapt and improve themselves based on usage. They could even create entirely new categories of software that we haven't imagined yet, because we're still thinking like humans. And here's the thing that should terrify traditional tech companies. MacroHard doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough, fast enough, and cheap enough. If AI can produce software at 80% of human quality, but at 1% of the cost, and 100 times the speed, well, do the math. The timeline Musk is suggesting is aggressive to the point of absurdity. But then again, he said the same timeline for landing rockets, and look how that turned out. What this really means for all of us. Let me leave you with this thought that's been keeping me up at night since I started researching this story. MacroHard isn't just another Musk venture. It's not just another AI company. It's potentially the first self-creating, self-improving, self-running corporation in human history. That giant MacroHard painted on the roof in Memphis? That's not just branding. That's a declaration. Musk is literally showing the world what the future of business looks like. Massive computational infrastructure replacing human infrastructure. AI agents replacing human employees. Algorithms replacing intuition. As Musk himself said, the goal is to create a company that can do anything short of manufacturing physical objects, but be able to do so indirectly. Read that again. Anything. Short of manufacturing physical objects. That includes every piece of software you use, every app on your phone, every system that runs your life. Will it work? Given Musk's track record, betting against him seems unwise. Tesla's worth more than the next nine car companies combined. SpaceX launches more rockets than most countries. His impossible projects have a weird habit of becoming inevitable realities. But here's what really matters for you watching this. We're not talking about some distant future. This is happening now. That facility in Memphis is being built right now. Those AI agents are being trained now. The image Musk shared isn't just teasing us, it's a warning shot. The future where AI doesn't just assist companies but is the company? That future is being constructed as we speak and the launch could change everything. So the question isn't whether MacroHard will succeed. The question is, when it launches, what does success even look like when the companies of tomorrow won't need us to run them?